don't have my brackets in front of me, but I think I picked Loyola to go through the first round. So <laughs> fingers crossed. All right, let's start off with your wind tracker for today. Winds are relatively light as we start off on this Friday, but that is going to change. We've been talking about the rain that's coming in. Well, we're also expecting windy conditions, so that rain may be left right rain, not up down rain. So right now, relatively calm in through eastern Idaho. Pocatello, 48 degrees right now under clear skies. Idaho Falls at the freezing mark, 32 degrees with cloudy conditions. As we take a look, downtown Jackson, 21 degrees, cloudy skies as we start off this Friday. Temperature tracker around the region, we're looking at 34 for Dubois. Mud Lake, 29 out at the site, 29 degrees. American Falls, Aberdeen area, 36. Zooming out, we're looking at Island Park, 20. Driggs, 30. Jackson, 21. Afton, 21 as well. Here's a look at the high temperatures for tomorrow. Yeah, the high temperatures for tomorrow. We're, you know, we've been re relatively blessed the last couple days getting 60 degree weather. These are the projected highs for tomorrow. Of course, you know, that system moving in, knocking us down to 48 degrees for Pocatello and Idaho Falls for the daytime high. Here's a look at your storm tracker right now as the system is moving in. Wet, rainy conditions in through the central portion of the state, turning to a mix of rain, snow, and snow in the upper elevations as it hits the sawtooths. That's headed to Chalice. As you can see, as we zoom out, that rain shower is stretching all the way through southern Idaho into the southwest corner of the state uh, and through Fruitland area and Ontario as well. So look at your future tracker. Relatively dry this morning, but as the day goes on, the clouds will begin to move in. And by this evening, we're looking for rain, snow, and a rain-snow mix into the overnight hours. Lots of rain expected uh, from the time you go to bed till the time you get up and even extending into Saturday afternoon for the first day of spring, imagine. Cloudy skies, rain later, highs today in the 40s, into the upper 50s, even pushing 60 degrees in some areas. In through the Teton Valley, we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies, daytime highs in the 40s, just cresting that 50 degree mark. And in through the Central Mountains, already seeing some light rain showers move in. You can expect rain for much of the day today, highs in the 40s and 50s. When the sun goes down, yeah, cloudy with a chance of snow in through the Central Mountains, overnight lows at or below the freezing mark for tonight as we leave winter behind us and look at winter ahead of us for the first day of spring. In through the Teton Valley, we're looking at one to three inches in the valley and then in the mountains, four to eight inches. So we're kind of keeping our eye on that because it could be a little bit more snow than what we're projecting here. Overnight lows in the 20s and 30s. Then in through the Snake River Plain, rain showers in the overnight hours, highs anywhere from the mid 30s to the upper 30s. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast. We talked about that first day of spring with the rain showers. Well, what does the rest of the weekend look like? Breezy, cloudy, and then more rain showers expected by the beginning of next week. Blackfoot also looking for the rain snow mix in the overnight hours. Cloudy skies, highs backing off. We've enjoyed, as we mentioned, enjoyed the 60 degree weather. Well, I hope you were able to enjoy it because we're not going to see it for at least the next week. Idaho Falls, cloudy conditions as well will be in the daytime highs. 40s, mid 40s in through parts of midweek next week. Lows in the 20s. Rexburg, cloudy conditions. We're looking for that rain snow mix as well for the first day of spring highs in the 40s and in through the Teton area. Looking for snow for much of the weekend and into next week with highs only in the middle 30s. Deanne?